Here we're going to look at energy balances for an open system and a closed system. So a closed system means we have a container where we might be adding heat, might be adding work, but there's no mass flow in, and there's no mass flow out. That's a closed system. An open system means we certainly can be adding heat and work, but we also have mass flow in and mass flow out. And what we're going to look at is a steady state open system, meaning the mass flow in is identical to the mass flow out. So let's look at the equations. First for this closed system, and we say the change in internal energy of the system plus the change in potential energy plus the change in kinetic energy is equal to the heat added plus the work done on the system. When I use these symbols delta, this means final minus initial. So that means at a given time, we call initial time, at some later time, the energy has changed. We've added heat, for example, and the gas has gotten hotter, and that, that's related to delta U. The change in potential energy for a typical closed system, unless we're changing the height, that would be zero for a typical closed system, unless we're actually physically accelerating that system, that would be zero. If the system was adiabatic, which would mean that we have a well-insulated system, then the heat at it would be zero. If there are no moving parts, a turbine, a stir, a piston, then in that case, work would be zero. So, so this equation for energy balance can be simplified depending on which conditions are satisfied. Now let's talk about this open system. So we're looking at an open system, but it's at steady state, which means the left side of the equation is zero. There's no change in energy of the system with time because we're at steady state. We're adding heat per time now, adding work per time. And then we will look at additional that we have energy flowing in, and that's enthalpy, again, per time because the temperature, for example, coming in can be different from the temperature leaving, so enthalpy out. And we'll use, again, this notation delta, but now we'll use delta to mean the value out minus the value in, so this is minus delta H dot. And then likewise, we would have two more terms for kinetic energy coming in plus kinetic energy out and potential energy in, potential energy out. And again, minus delta E kinetic energy, and this is minus delta E potential energy. So let me rearrange this equation. So this is the energy balance now for open system steady state, keep in mind this delta means the out value of enthalpy minus the value of enthalpy coming into the system. So let's look at a couple examples to make this a little more concrete. So here is a closed system, a gas in a cylinder with a movable piston. We're not adding mass or removing mass, so it's closed system. And the piston is going to compress the gas, which is doing work on the gas. And so if we look at the energy balance for a closed system, Delta E of kinetic energy is going to be zero. We're assuming it's not the actual entire piston is not being accelerated. We've assumed change potential energy is zero. So, so we end up with the energy balance of delta U is Q plus W. So we're adding work because we're compressing the gas. And compressing the gas, we could also be adding heat or removing heat. And depending on how they balance, Delta U could change with temperature, or it can be a constant temperature. The temperature didn't change, and for this gas, delta U would be zero. There's no chemical reaction. It means whatever work we put in was then removed as heat. 
if instead it was adiabatic, then Q would be zero and all the work would be going into raising the temperature. It's closed system. Let's look at, again, a simple example for an open system. Here we have a system where a liquid stream flows at constant rate through a heat exchanger. It's at steady state, heating up that liquid. The pipes are horizontal, but the liquid's flowing through. They have constant diameter. We want to know the energy balance. And so since it's horizontal, there's no change in potential energy. Since it's a liquid and constant diameter, the velocity is not changing, so the kinetic energy change is also going to be zero. There's nothing moving. There's no physical work being done. So work is zero. And so the energy balance for this open system change in enthalpy with time. Right? The final enthalpy minus the initial enthalpy is equal to the rate that heat is being added to the system. Certainly there are more complicated systems we can look at, but the starting point is the same. We start with that general energy balance, and then we remove terms to get to an energy balance that applies for the system.